Every year in the United States, more than half of the nation's estimated 34,000 traffic deaths involve roadway departures. When a vehicle leaves the roadway, it typically ends up overturning or hitting a fixed object. In some cases, vehicles leave the roadway after colliding with another vehicle, resulting in severe crashes. Crash victims can be your friends, family members, or co-workers. They can be ordinary people who may have become momentarily distracted or forced from their lane by another driver. Whatever the cause, measures must be taken to minimize these tragic roadway departure crashes. One cause of roadway departure crashes, particularly on rural two-lane highways, is pavement edge drop-off, the uneven edge or vertical drop between the paved travel lane and the unpaved shoulder. But there is an easy and low-cost solution to pavement edge drop-off. By attaching a simple device to a paving machine, you can create a more durable and safer pavement edge. By making this simple improvement, your organization can reduce roadway departure crashes and save lives. The problem of pavement edge drop-off begins at the time of conventional construction. The new pavement typically adds a vertical drop-off that should be mitigated. Many agencies mitigate the drop-off by regrading the adjacent unpaved material. But as the regraded shoulder settles and erodes in the weeks and months after construction, the drop-off is exposed once again. While that's happening, another problem may develop. Without sufficient edge durability, the new pavement edge may start to crumble and deteriorate. A pavement edge drop-off can create problems when drivers leave the pavement and drop onto an unpaved surface. The inside of the vehicle's right side tires can start to rub intensely against the vertical edge of the pavement, causing what is referred to as tire scrubbing. This can make it difficult for a driver to safely re-enter the paved travel lane. Drivers attempting to return immediately to the paved roadway can oversteer and lose control of their vehicles. Studies have shown that crashes resulting from pavement edge drop-off are more severe, typically resulting in vehicles colliding head-on with oncoming vehicles. Or, they may cross the center line and run off the other side of the road and overturn in a ditch or hit a fixed object. An effective and inexpensive countermeasure to pavement edge drop-off is to install an angled edge called the safety edge. The Safety Edge is one of several technologies now being deployed as part of the Everyday Counts initiative, which has been developed by Federal Highway Administrator Victor Mendez to offer a better, faster, and smarter way of building America's highways. The initiative focuses on shortening the time it takes to deliver major projects to the public and getting promising technologies deployed into the field faster so they can enhance safety, reduce congestion, and save energy. Studies have shown that providing a 30-degree angled edge eliminates tire scrubbing, making the pavement edge safer to traverse for drivers and cyclists. This angled edge can be easily installed at very low or no cost along the pavement edge during any paving project. A special commercially available safety edge shoe can be attached to a paving machine in a few minutes. As the paving material extrudes out of the paver, the shoe forms a compacted pavement edge of the appropriate shape. Once the safety edge shoe is attached and the paver is running normally, the process proceeds the same as any other paving operation. For asphalt paving, the spring and the various angles of the shoe extrude the material into a tight shape that provides the specified edge. This diagram shows a typical safety edge installation with the break point located above the edge of the existing pavement. During normal construction, the drop-off will exceed the thickness of the lift. If the project requires a second lift, it is recommended to place the safety edge during each lift. The break point of the second lift can be aligned over the existing pavement edge or, if the pavement width allows, the break point can be moved in, resulting in a narrower footprint. The wedge shoes that are currently manufactured allow for a 5-inch safety edge height. Most experts feel that if the total height at the edge is more than 5 inches, a small vertical edge below the safety edge will have negligible impacts on performance since it would be unusual for more than 5 inches to become exposed. 
Rather than lose the 45 degree angle that comes out of the standard paver and later tends to break off, the Safety Edge shoe produces the 30 degree wedge that's so durable it can withstand the weight of trucks and other heavy vehicles. To get the best results, the adjacent shoulder material should be pulled back from the existing pavement so that the safety edge sits on undisturbed material rather than vegetation or loose gravel. When the shoulders have been clipped back, the edge is often a little thicker than the rest of the new asphalt mat. This is perfectly normal and acceptable. Even with the safety edge installed, the shoulders should be pulled back flush with the pavement surface. As the shoulder material settles, wears down and erodes, the safety edge is there as a safety net until the shoulder is restored. This gives highway agencies more time to do shoulder maintenance or do other tasks, since it will be less critical to replace material when the edge has only a few inches exposed. The safety edge was originally developed for asphalt paving, but the safety edge can also be used for concrete paving when the concrete interfaces with graded material. In the slip forming process used in concrete paving, different shapes are available to make integral curves. The safety edge is simply a variation of that concept, an inverse of the common sloping curve. As with asphalt pavement, adjacent shoulder material should be brought flush with the concrete pavement. One of the many benefits of the safety edge is that very little additional time and materials are required for paving. Installing the safety edge uses less than 1% of additional asphalt, and it requires no additional labor beyond attaching the shoe to the paver. The shoe itself is inexpensive relative to the cost of the entire paving project and can be used for many projects before needing replacement. For concrete paving, additional material is required. The quantity can be easily calculated based on the pavement depth. If you are assuming two 12-foot lanes and a 6-inch depth, you would need about 3.5% of additional material. Research has shown that with this angled edge, tire scrubbing will not develop so that most drivers recover safely after encountering a drop-off. The safety edge is a proven technology with two primary benefits. In addition to enhancing safety, the safety edge creates a more durable pavement edge that prevents edge raveling. The Safety Edge has a proven record of success. If you would like to learn more about the Safety Edge and how to deploy this promising new technology in your state, go to this internet site or contact the individuals listed. Because of the potential benefits of the Safety Edge, your organization is encouraged to consider adopting the Safety Edge as a low or no-cost solution to pavement edge drop-off. Why not make this simple improvement to reduce roadway departure crashes and save lives in your state?